It's Isaiah Colbert, the otaku of Kotaku. Now that it's ended, I can say something I've been sitting on for a minute. Mob Psycho 100 is a goddamn masterpiece. Mob Psycho 100 is brought to us by One, the same mangaka who created the mega popular superhero series One Punch Man. It follows Shigeo Mob Kageyama, a high schooler sporting psychic abilities and a bowl cut to boot. In typical One fashion, Mob Psycho's Mo Howard looking hero is the definition of a power fantasy with how overwhelmingly strong he is. However, much like Saitama, Mob's godlike powers are more of a curse than a blessing. Mob just wants to be a popular high schooler on the merit of his own physical abilities. His psychic powers, which go haywire whenever his suppressed emotions overflow, provide the show's hypest moments and act as a pseudo antagonist. What keeps Mob grounded is his mentor, the fast talking disaster man, Reagan Arataka. Although Reagan is basically committing highway robbery by using Mob's psychic powers for his phony exorcism practice, the con man is a phenomenal role model for Mob. Season 3 is a masterpiece for how deceptively low stakes its narrative arc is in comparison to what came before. Instead of battling a secret society of psychics or mobsters, the final season of Mob Psycho 100 pumps the brakes and delves into Mob as a character. The anime's narrative advice of displaying a percentage counter whenever Mob's emotions heighten usually serves as the show's way of communicating to viewers that shit is about to hit the fan. Whenever the counter reaches 100%, viewers are greeted with a beautifully animated fight scene. Despite how cool these scenes are, the question fans have long been asking is whether or not Mob's suppression of his emotions is a good thing. Season 3 addresses that directly with a much needed discussion between Mob and, well, himself. The final battle in Mob Psycho 100 isn't an over the top battle of fisticuffs and mind games between Mob and a rival Esper, but rather a conversation between Mob and a personification of the destructive potential of his own emotions. Mob's self-inflicted talk no jutsu therapy session culminates in the most beautiful display of self-acceptance I've ever seen in an anime. The show even goes a step further by having Mob immediately get rejected by his childhood crush and accept the sadness and joy he feels in being brave enough to have loved and lost. Whew, who the hell is chopping onions in here? Anyway, Mob Psycho 100 had me punching the air in excitement throughout the entire run of its anime, and I'm eternally grateful we have a popular shonen series that utilizes its bombastic sakuga to teach its viewers that it's okay to let your emotions show. Let us know in the comment section below if you agree that Mob Psycho 100 is the anime of the decade, and be sure to not if you disagree.